Hey guys, before we get started on this episode, this is a great episode. It's a breakdown of Eufaula. It's all the things that went wrong, went right. It's a little bit of everything. Plus we're gonna fish on my home life, but I wanna share with you guys something. The Let's Go Fishing Packs, jigs, 90 jigs now, and those Let's Go Fishing Packs, and now we've added the plastics. So you can imagine, you hit your boat, you hit your shoreline, all you need is that, you're done. You got everything you're gonna possibly need to catch a ton of crappie. Check them out. Uh, and we fish with this stuff in this episode. Enjoy the episode, guys. This is awesome. All about you follow. Doesn't get any better than this. Cool. All right, guys. Well, we're back. An abrupt end to you follow. Uh, have so much to share with you here, but you know, we we didn't finish the tournament, tournament off well. And I'm gonna show you how I cope with that. Obviously, we're going fishing in this episode. We're gonna get back on my home lake, but I clean sickness like crazy. It's probably the most therapeutic thing I can do when uh, things don't go well on the tournament trail. And it happens, that's fishing, right? So, and we had a lot of fun and we learned a new lake and a new area and met some incredible people, which is definitely, definitely part of it. But what do I do? I just go fishing again and I get back in that zone of guiding and and fishing and cleaning the boat cleaning the truck after a trip like that is probably the most important most therapeutic thing i can do personally but let's get on the water and uh let's talk about it and what went wrong at eufaula on day two during that tournament thanks for joining please subscribe let's do this Yeah, this is gonna be a really cool episode because we're gonna talk about Eufaula as a lake. I'm gonna give you some insight there. I'm also gonna talk about the experiences that we had on the water that were positive and some that were negative. And uh, the other things that go on during a tournament. So we're gonna catch some fish out here. I have not been out here uh, for a week because of the tournament. We're gonna try to figure out where they're at. So we're gonna catch fish in this episode. But after each catch, we're gonna talk about certain things about Eufaula, the lake itself, the whole thing so that I guess if you go to Eufaula you'll get a better idea of what to expect and where to go to catch those big crappies so let's get on the water let's do this we're on the water let's just let's just go catch some fish Check out that first fish of that episode right there. Ooh, back home, treat me good. So what's the first thing that I noticed the difference between these legs? Pure size. I was able to actually stretch the legs on sickness at Eufaula. It was crazy how long of runs I could make going 70 miles an hour and not even think about it or even see a boat for that matter. It was absolutely incredible. When I come to my home lake, I just, I can't make those kind of runs. And there's another one. These are good fish too. I can't make those kind of runs. Just lost that fish at the trolling motor. I can't make those kind of runs on my home lake. So that was pretty fascinating to me. Now let's get to the story of what happened in our tournament. In short, our first day was awesome. It was pretty much what we were hoping for. We needed a 12 and a half to three, 13 pound bag. We ended up with about 1323, about 13 and a quarter. And that put us in the 12th spot. So our big debate with Eufaula was whether or not we should go back down to our spot. We knew it had fish, but the problem was is that we were gonna have to boat this time. The first time we actually trailer, day one trailer, day two, we we're gonna boat down there. And that was gonna be an hour, well, we figured it was gonna be about 30 or 40 minutes. Well, the worst case scenario occurred when we woke up in the morning and there was fog. And our second option of going north just didn't seem like it was the smart play knowing how many fish we had down in the other spot. So we opted to go ahead and stick with our original plan of going south even though there was fog and we knew that was gonna add a lot to our drive. So we spent basically an hour in the boat getting to our spot on a very sketchy body of water when uh, you're not familiar with it. So. We wasted a lot of time. When we reached our destination, this is kind of a long story. I hope you guys can appreciate it though. Um, we were delighted to see an unbelievable amount of fish. 
but unfortunately they would not bite and there was nothing we could do to get them to bite we tried everything come to find out at eufaula after a rain the one place you want to stay out of are those creeks that are getting a lot of water being flushed out and our creek was one of those creeks so in hindsight if we had known just a little bit more about the lake we definitely would have established that that was not going to be the place to go back now granted it was extra painful because we were seeing so many fish and so many good sized fish best marks we had seen all all week and uh to not get them to bite was unbelievable i'll tell you what this lake is doing us pretty good Let me talk to you real quick about that experience, <laughs> real quick. So, you know, tournaments are made up of decisions and how much knowledge you have on the lake. We had basically two spots, north and south. We chose to go to the south one, even in that fog. And when we reached all the way down there, one hour away, unfortunately, those fish would not bite and we tried everything. So we were stuck an hour south of the boat ramp um, and really didn't have a secondary place to go close to the boat ramp. So if we could do it again, pre-fishing is the most important thing whatsoever in a tournament. You've got to do a good job of pre-fishing. And I thought we did, but unfortunately we did lose the third day of pre-fishing due to our trolling motor uh, problems. And we'll go into that a little bit, but you know, in hindsight, we should have explored the, the mid lake section. Right, of so here's a look at the fish I'm going to try to catch right here. This is a good sized fish. I'm gonna swing this sucker way out there. It should be coming in, you should see it. And it'll come up a little short. We're gonna do this again. There he is, that's a good fish. I think one came in and stole it, right? Check that out. And let me tell you, you fall a was that easy it didn't matter what you dropped on you were going to catch it except for that second day it's, it was amazing now in regards to our trolling motor issues on the third day of pre-fish in the morning very early we hit a boulder with it with my trolling motor and it stopped working you talk about a panic you put all this money and time into an event and now all of a sudden your trolling motor is dead in the water so we were fortunate enough to find a place called uh, the trolling motor shop and broken arrow these guys were fantastic and you saw that in the episode the last episode so i recommend them 100 i got their contact information so if i ever have a problem i'm giving them a call because these guys that's all they do is repair trolling motors i mean they know it so uh hats off to them for sure without a doubt all right we just moved we're gonna try some calm water get away from all those bass boats all that good stuff so things about you fall up okay is this lake is broken down into three different sections north mid and south and I've heard it both ways, which side you should go to, but we heard that you should go south. And certainly the quantity of fish were in, on the south side. Although, again, I've heard it both ways. So no one's gonna agree with that one way or the other. I've heard several good anglers say the north side's where to go and the south, you know, but we had heard a lot about the south. So we kind of got stuck on the south side. Uh, but my recommendation to you guys that are gonna fish that national championship is get a spot on the north, get a spot in the south, mid, and then get a, get a spot uh, down in the, uh, the south side. So south, mid, and north. Get one of each and get one next to the, the actual marina. In regards to like the town of Eufaula, it's actually pretty small. There's a small town outside. I can skip in my name. My, I can't remember the name at this time. That's where your Walmart's going to be. The town of Eufaula is actually a lot smaller than I thought. The size of that lake, and maybe there's a lot of towns around it. I was surprised that the lake, the town wasn't like a Lake of the Ozark style of town. Um, but maybe, you know, Oklahoma's different. I don't know how, how that whole thing works out. But uh, I was surprised how small the town of Eufaula was. Um, which I'm sure everybody appreciates. But even on a Saturday, the lake, it was a beautiful Saturday. The lake wasn't that crowded. So um, again, a strange thing, but man, this lake is beautiful. I mean, just absolutely stunning. Uh, it's daunting how, how many coves there are. So, you know, when our winner Hayden said that he tried to get into every cove he possibly could, I mean, that's a task. That's an absolute task. So uh, Yafala, 
without a doubt i'll be back that was an incredible fishery let's let's catch some more fish on my home lake and if you're interested in guide trips give me a holler i still got room in the springtime uh in particular uh may but got some dates in april as well but they're filling up quick so give me a call you can give me a call at 618-694-5162 and uh or get a hold of me at email but three pound fishing anything get a hold of me message me and we go on a guide trip we're gonna we're gonna drop one of these hair jigs down that apparently is the hot bait on my my home lake right now this one that i'm using so the clown if you go to the website and you look at the clown that one is working big time uh we'll let you guys know i got a uh the new let's go fishing pack this is the new uh all plastics check it out does that not set you up pair that with the all let's go fishing pack jig packet um doesn't get better so hopefully i gave you a little intro and talked about that but that's a new item at three pound fishing and um I think you'll have you have everything in two little packets. One's for jigs, one's for plastics. That makes a lot of sense to me. Here comes a fast moving target coming right at us. Sometimes you just gotta go after them. Rod tip all the way in the water. He's just a half pounder. Right there though. That's a good fish. Mm, mm, mm. Check that out. That's awesome. We always let them go. There they go, right there. So all these great products are available at 3poundfishing.com. The Let's Go Fishing Jig Pack, the Plastic Pack, the Hair Jigs, this is the clown, sniping braid, even hog fishing nets are available at threepoundfishing.com. So you can get everything in the same plot. This spot makes it a lot easier for you. Right now, in terms of going back on my, my home lake, all I'm doing is I worked from the, the shoreline in and identified very quickly that they were not up on the shore yet. So um, all I did was work back from there until I ran into them. And so there's not a particular depth that they're at, but they're definitely still making their way to the spawning areas is what's going on we got a water temperature of 55 degrees bluebird day bluebird day and i'm happy to be back i got a clean boat and uh tournament fishing is a is definitely a takes the toll on you next tournament's going to be at millwood that's going to be in 30 days and uh we're going to do a lot of videos and stuff like that before then but i'll be showing you all about millwood as well look forward to that Never been there as well, but I understand that it's a much smaller lake and there's a lot of wood. That'll be post-spawn though. So I'm assuming that we're gonna be definitely hitting them on structure. And I love post-spawn. Post-spawn is like, I mean, just super aggressive fish from my experience on my own lake. All right, guys, well, that's gonna end it. Uh, the new three pound fishing rods are gonna be out here in the next couple months. Uh, I look forward to sharing a lot about that, very exciting. Uh, a lot of stuff going into that right now and so i can't wait to share it with you but uh thanks for joining me i appreciate it a lot of these episodes coming up are going to be the millwood uh, episodes i'm sure of that and uh we're going to be visiting a lot of lakes this summer so it won't be just this lake it's going to be an experience going to all these new lakes and i uh, look forward to bringing you along for the ride so thanks again please subscribe that helps us out and uh, builds the channel builds the content builds the brand appreciate you guys